Do you remember that tree log that I found in the forest near the near the spring? Well, guess what's in my bathtub? Ta-da! My girlfriend saw me drawing over this and offered me to lift it for me, so it's here. I don't know when I will be using this, but I will wash it all up and I will prepare it for future enclosure. When I get old logs like this one from the forest, first what I do, I take all the, I take big chunks of uh, rotten wood that are loose and remove the dirt and stuff, and then I put it in a tub to wash it all up with hot water. I try to wash and remove as much as I can and then after that I just leave it on the sun to dry for a few hours uh, I mean few I mean few months until it's completely dried and by that time I expect that all the harmful things that, that, that were in the wood are gone and that it is safe to put in the enclosure. So far I didn't have any problems. Of course there's always the first time but, but that's what I do and so far it works. So let's clean it. And this is basically how it will look once it's a bit dry. So you see there is a lot of details on the wood and they really start to show when you scrub the old wood and the mud and everything. I can show you one other piece of wood, other piece of wood that I have that is completely dry. So you can see how it looks. You see this is also an amazing piece. I think that I will use this in Balfouri enclosure or something like that, I don't know, but look how much details it got, especially here. I really like this piece. And once it's completely dry, it is much lighter than it used to be. But still, having a, having a real wood inside of your enclosure will make your enclosure super super heavy so be cautious about that because if your shelf is not strong enough it can easily bend the shelf or break or something like that so be cautious when using large pieces of wood and also before we go to the next thing if you don't already know next week i'm going to london and next sunday i'm going to bts expo the tarantula expo so if you are also going to make sure to say hi and i plan to record a lot there and i'm going to london zoo so you can also expect the video from the london zoo they have exhibition about spiders so that will be super super interesting and what else I also need to record this week three more videos in advance because I won't be at home. So just in case if there is no new video, it's because I didn't manage to record it. So sorry in advance if that happens. But I will try and do my best to get it all done before I leave. So yeah, exciting days ahead of me. Let's continue. I'm now going to add fake wines that I made in my previous video to the poison dart frog tank. So these are the fake wines that I made. I'm not entirely satisfied with how they came out, but, but they aren't that bad. So let's figure it out how to put it inside. I will use these pins to secure them. Oh, they are sh shorter than I expected. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Not really satisfied. Maybe from here. 
down here. I mean, it adds some texture, but nothing impressive. I don't know, I'm not impressed. I could probably arrange them much better if I add them before the plants and then put, and then put plants around them. Now it's not really that useful. Now you see it, it is not it's not that big change, but they certainly add something. I don't know what do you think. Now I imagine if I have an array of vines here and then all of these plants wrapping around them. It would look much better, but it is what it is. I will have to build another polderium to test it out. Something similar to that pictures that I shared on my Facebook page. That would be legit. Now Let's check out the frogs a bit more. Actually, let's feed them. I think it's time to cut some plants. They are starting to take over the enclosure once again. And I really like this plant that I added to Vivarium. Looking really good and spreading a lot. And the last thing that I want to do in this video, remember that spider that I showed you in my last feeding video? And also the male that I found in the forest. I will try to parry them and see what will happen. Okay, this is how I set it up. I want the male to go down there by himself since he cannot climb the plastic this is the only way that would enable him to go inside by himself i will also put a twig so he can go in and out this is to help him climb in and out and i will now introduce the male There is something white on his back, looks like a spider poop, yep, and he's trying to remove it. Oh man. Is this a bad timing, bro? It seems that he sends the female. Yep, definitely. They are so small, it's impossible to get them both in focus. Sorry for messing with the camera, but this is the only way to show you both. She's turning. They definitely can sense each other. That's the good sign, I guess. She's moving. Oh, he's backing off. Don't be scared, little guy. Don't go outside, man. Yes, yes, go inside. That's the right way. Or clean yourself first. You need to be pretty for the lady.
is definitely sending her signs. I'm going to fall asleep here. 15 minutes and this was all the movement. But I just noticed that he is missing one leg. You see, on the left side he got 4, but on the right side, his right side, he got only 3. So I guess this guy is experienced, but he certainly isn't showing that. Come on little buddy, we believe in you. He's drumming. Come on, female, respond. She doesn't really care about him. Maybe he's not her type. Maybe she likes males that will bring her flowers first. This is scary. Oh, come on, man. Really? All that work and then you run away. Seriously. Hour and a half. I think that's enough. Sorry that this was not a successful mating video. At least you saw some drumming action. I guess that's something. So anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs it up and comment something. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So, see you again soon. Bye. -bye.